on guys fire guy gaming here with an lspdfr tutorial and today we're going to be installing lspdfr the game and a vehicle mod pack and ELS um, this is because a subscriber wanted to do me to do a video on this so here we go so let's get into it okay so let's start with lspdfr okay um, so what we're going to do here is we're going to come here, we're going to download the 0.4.8, hit download, download this file. I've already downloaded it, so I'm going to download it again, but you want to hit download, agree, agree and download, and you're going to want to download the manual install, hit download, okay? Then once it downloads, we're going to grab the WinRAR from over here, we're going to bring it over here, okay? Close out of that, then we're going to rage plug and hook, we're going to hit download, and then go to Grand Theft Auto, and then we're gonna hit download that one, okay? And then we're gonna grab the WinRAR, grab it, pull it over here. And all these links are gonna be down in the description so you guys can find them easy. Okay, so the next one we're gonna do is ScriptOkV, hit GTA 5, ScriptOkV, and then hit download right here. And then we're gonna grab the script, script hook, where is it, right here? And we're gonna drag it from over here and drop it. Then we're going to go to scriptbook.net uh, here, and then we're going to hit download. Don't hit this one. Go down here, hit that one, and then you're going to grab that script hook when it downloads. Bring it over here and drop it. Next, we're going to do is simple trainer. We're going to hit download. Hit download again. That's that does. You're going to grab the WinMar, bring it over here, drop it. Okay. Next, we're going to do is open IV. Now, OpenIV, I'm not going to download, I've already downloaded it, but once we get all this installed, you need to download this program, okay, it's a modding program, and then uh, it's self-explanatory, it installs itself, okay, and then uh, that's what you want to do after that. That's after you run the configure, uh, I'll, I'll do it when, I'll show you how to do it once we get through the whole thing, but I just wanted to show you how to download, okay, so we're not going to download that yet. Okay, so next what we're going to do is download ELS, Emergency Light Systems. You want to click download. You're going to want to download the 1.0.5. So we're going to download. And then agree and download. So you want the 1.0.5. Hit download. It's going to download. You're going to grab it. And we're going to drop it over here. Okay. Close out of that. The next we're going to do. This is the car pack we're going to be doing. We're going to take a quick look at it. Uh, we can scroll through it. It's a nice car pack. It's going to get the job done. That's what the inside looks like. It's got different cars in it. Um, so yeah, we're going to download that one, so we'll close out of this, we're going to download, you want to do the 1.4.0 main file and then hit download, I've already downloaded it, not going to do it again, okay, so there's that, then we got everything we need downloaded, so we're going to close out of this, okay, and then uh, <clears throat> we're going to open up our file explorer, okay, and to get to your main directory, what you're going to do is you're going to hit this PC, Yours is probably going to be in the C drive, mine's in the D drive, so you're going to hit C drive. Program file is 86, Steam, Steam apps. Make sure I'm still recording. Uh, common, and your Grand Theft Auto may hit there. So mine's in my D drive, so I have to go to my D drive. Uh, uh, Grand Theft Auto. Okay, so that's what we're going to do right now. The first thing we're going to do is uh, LSPDFR, click it. Click that, and then uh, let's see if I can widen this a little bit. There we go. Then we're gonna uh, grab them all, okay? But we don't need the license and or the README, so we're gonna close that. Gonna grab them all. And before you do this, uh, it's always good to back up your game files to so make sure you back it up, okay? Um, and you want a good buffer zone right here because if one of these are clicked and you drop them all in, it's going to go into this file and ruin your whole game. You don't want to do that. So, all right. So what we're going to do now is we're going to grab all these, drag them over, and drop them. It's going to take a second while it calculates. Okay, that goes. Hit refresh, close out of this. LSPDFR is done. Okay, so then we got to do rage plug and hook. Same here, you're gonna grab all these. Sorry about that. And then we're gonna do not the license, the SDK, 
and the README, everything else we're going to put in. So grab them all, drag them over, drop them in place. Okay, hit refresh. Close out of this, rage is done. Then we're going to do split to V. So we're going to click on that. Hit bin. What we're going to do is the scriptically.dll and the dimput.dll. We're going to grab them, bring them over, and drop them. Place. Script V is in. Yeah, we're going to put that over there. Now we're going to do script up v.net. All right, so what we want of these is we want the DLL. So we want the 3 DLL, the 2 DLL, and the ASI. Grab those three, drag, drop them in. Hit, then we're going to refresh. Done with that one. Script took is done. Okay, so now that we're going to do simple trainer, you just need the trainer INI and the trainer SNI. These two right here, okay? So drag them over, drop them, okay? Place, because I already had them in. All right, simple trainer is done. Okay, now what we're going to do is we are going to um, <clears throat> go to lspdfr in your main directory right here, okay? So this little file right here says lspdfr, click it, and we're going to go to the lspdfr configurator. Hit click that, and hit next, show license, and it's going to bring up a rage license, and you're just going to hit agree, okay? And then it's going to say a version, just hit do it for me. And it's installed. Okay. So that's done. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our main directory. All right. What's going on here? Stop. Jesus. Okay. Um, so we're in our main directory here. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull up ELS. Okay. Now you want the installation file right here. Click on that. Grand Theft Auto. Now you want to the INI, the SNI, the advanced hook, and the ELS folder. Grab all four of these, pull them in, and drop them in. ELS is installed, guys. That's it. So ELS is done. Okay. So, all right. Now what we're going to do, like I was going back to say before, is we're going to we can close out of this. Now what you want to do is go and get to Open 4. Okay, Open IV, whatever you want to call it. Okay. So you want to hit download this. I'm not going to do it because I've already downloaded and I don't need to override anything. So download it. It's going to give you a prompt. You're going to follow instructions and install it. It's going to install itself. Okay. Once it's installed, we are going to open it. Okay. It's going to give you this little icon like this. Okay. You see that? You want to hit that. I have mine on my taskbar, so I just click it. It's going to pull this up. Open by the. You want to do Grand Theft Auto 5 Windows. Alright, you want to click edit, yes, okay. Alright, so now what we're going to do is we want to find our pathway to get to our cars, okay. So hit mods, update, time 64, DLC packs, where you're going to scroll down here and go to the last patch date, patch date 24. You're going to click on that, DLC, six, time 64, levels, GTA 5, and vehicles RPF. Now, if you're smart, you'll hit favorite and add to favorites. It'll say vehicles RPF and you hit add. What that does is let's say, okay, I want to go back to mods and if you have, don't know the pathway again, you just go to favorites, go to vehicles, and bam, you're back in the same place. Very helpful and very fast. So, what we're going to now is going to open a legacy pack, which is a car pack. All right, let's go in here. Okay, so what we're going to install three vehicles, okay? We're going to do police one, police two, and police three. So let's see, this is police one, okay? So we're gonna grab these three, drag them over and drop it, okay? Then we're gonna scroll up here to ELS, hit ELS, pack default, and go back here. And this is where your ELS files is in your VCF. You need these for your lights to work. You can do mark or slip top or do marked. And we're gonna grab the police one, drag it over and drop it, okay? And if you did favorites, you just go back to your vehicles, and boom, you're back here. If not, you go to mods, update, time 64, DLC pack, patch day 24, DLC RPS, 64 levels, GTA 5 vehicles RPS. See how much easier that is if you just save it to your favorites. So we're going to go back and do police 2. Which, uh, which one that one was. There's police 3, so we know that one's there. I think it's the 
charger. There it is. Okay, so this is the charger. We're going to grab these three files, drag them over, and drop them in. At least two is installed. So we're going to have to install the lights. Let's go back to BCF. Marked. Police 2. Okay, so remember ELS is over here. Let's just click ELS. Pack default. Grab your Police 2 file. Right here. Drag it over and drop it. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go to Police 3. Let's see. It is the Explorer. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Police 3. So we're going to grab these three. Grab them over and drop them. Okay. Go up. ELS, pack default. And there. And there are the marks. Okay, so we need police three now. Okay. Drag it over and drop it. And there you go. Your cars are installed. Okay, so what we're going to do now, hit edit mode. Okay, now we're going to fire up uh, Rage. Okay, so I'm going to show you this set. Show you how to fire up Rage real quick and what you need to do your settings. And then I'll see you in the game. So let's fire up Rage. It's going to be your R button or your R with star on it, come up. Okay, it's gonna bring up this right here, okay? See right here where it says plug in timeout, you wanna make this to 60,000, not 10,000, okay? So make that to 60, okay? And your plugins, you always wanna hit this one where it says load these plugins on startup. I have other ones in here, so right now yours is only gonna see LSPD first response, you want that checked. Okay, nothing else should be checked, okay? So we're going to do is save and launch, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to save and launch it, and then I will see you inside the game. All right, guys. Uh, here we are back in the game, okay? So this is what we're going to do. We're going to hit F3. We're going to pull up our simple trainer that we installed, okay? And then we're going to go to vehicle spawning. Emergency. So we're going to do the first car, police cruiser. Bam. Oh, you know what? Let's make it nighttime so we can... Let's drive it over here, okay? Um, make it nighttime so you can see the lights better. Uh, uh, here we go. Oh, yeah, everything's good. Okay, this is the first stage. This is what ELS does. Gives you three stage of lighting. Without it, you wouldn't. It would suck. Stage two. And state stage three. That's what it looks like. And I think we can look at the inside of the car. That's what the inside looks like. A nice rack there. Gun rack. All that jazz. Okay, just gonna have that one. See if we can pull this over a little bit more. Pull this over. Crush it. Okay. All right. So let's do another one. Uh, we'll spawning emergency. We're gonna do police cruiser two. There it is. It's a Dodge Charger. Stage one. Stage two, stage three. That's all of them. Oh. Also next to this guy. All right, you want to see inside of it? That's what it looks like inside. Okay, let off. All right, let's do the last one here. F3, vehicle spawning, emergency, police cruiser three. This is going to be the FPIU. That's going to be stage one, stage two, ready, and stage three. All three stages. Okay. Alright, you can see the inside of that one. Alright, that's all three of them. Alright, guys, that is how you install LSPDFR, okay, ELS, and a car pack. That's it, that's all you got to do. Um, if you guys have any other uh, tutorials you like me to do, just comment back below, comment down below. I'll leave all the links in the description for the cars, uh, all the all the uh, app or mods you need to uh, install those PDFAR and the ELS and the car pack. Okay, um, until then, this is your local fire guy saying have a good night.